kid. What's your name, anyway? My name is Nano. N A N O. B. Hey, what's goody? I got four sales to show you guys today. Nothing major, but they are some really nice things, and I thought I should show you. I'll just add it on to another video. I got three sales from eBay and one sale from Depop. First sale being these new tags, Nike red swimming trunks, size extra large, and they sold for $13.50 plus shipping. I did take an offer on these, but I realized now that I had these listed way too low. I think I had them like at $14.99. I honestly could have held out and got at least $19.99 for them, but it's whatever, man. I definitely made some money on them. I don't recall what I paid for them, yeah i probably paid around like three bucks for them i sold this pair of chevy door pins and i actually bought these for myself if you guys kept up with my truck videos i had a door problem my door wouldn't shut all the way because it would hang and i bought these pins on ebay and ended up being the wrong ones so the seller actually let me keep them and he sent me my money back and now i've sold them so that's really really dope of that seller for letting me keep it and still giving me my refund shout out to him i got this from a huge looney tunes collection that i bought from somebody i literally bought their entire collection but it is this vintage 1996 actually i don't know when it's dated 1997 santa bucks bunny at the emporium automatic musical like you twist it up and this dude moves around and it plays a musical really really dope so for 30 bucks plus shipping has an original price tag of 40 bucks though i feel like this one i could have held down too but i accepted it all for no big deal and last but not least definitely not least i sold this bootleg naruto shirt for 50 bucks plus shipping on depop and i only have one of those left now i originally bought three of them and i'm not gonna lie i just spent another 500 bucks from that lady buying more bootleg anime shirts i definitely gotta chill <laughs> going to the thrift stores now i actually have two more little sales to show you right here i sold a pair of these woman saucony ever run shoes i'll put up a picture of the of the name on screen so you guys know the exact name of these shoes but they sold for 25 bucks plus shipping i took an offer i had them listed for 30 and um, i was checking to see if they had the price on them but i'm not exactly sure i did i didn't pay much dude i never like to pay a lot for my shoes these were definitely in the ten dollar and under range i just listed this last night and i got this in a bag of other stuff it's a snoopy mini pencil case and their colored pencil sold for $14.99 this little small bugger and like i said i got it in like this sandwich bag of other vintage toys and little trinkets and stuff and i only paid two bucks for that bag and like i said i listed a good one two three four a little another five things from that bag so that's really really good right there hey yo what's good it's your boy and i bring you another what's so video i got a couple items to show you i'm gonna pop up a couple of screenshots at first and then i got a couple items sitting a lot of small stuff sold like literally all the stuff i can show you i have it just laid out right here on my desk but let me show you the things that um i've already shipped out two of the things i'm gonna show you i've already shipped out and one of them is actually in my back storage that i'm just gonna wait till tomorrow to get it first seal first sale being this nude life proof case for an iphone 5 5s waterproof case so for 30 bucks plus shipping i can't believe a 5s case sold for this much but i found this at safety and paid like two to three bucks for it next sale up is this elfin lied lucy big print double-sided bootleg anime shirt and i've talked about these i've already made i uh, did i already make a video i should have already made a video on these but yeah this one sold for 40 bucks plus shipping actually i think it actually sold for 40 dollars flat because um somebody hit me up on my instagram texas pickups and they were dope enough to just pay me through paypal so i could avoid ebay fees next sale is this polar rock Lauren fragrance blue and green big pony duffel bag so for 45 bucks plus shipping i was only expecting expecting to take offers for this 
but it sold for full asking price which is super dope i just picked up another one like it but i kind of had to pay up for it with i paid like 14 bucks for it at goodwill but since this one sold i was confident on paying that all right man next sell up is this right here it is a vintage 1987 flip siders mall madness mini board game and then you know it comes out and it's a mini board game it's complete with all its pegs as you can see right there really really dope so for $29.99 plus shipping and i got this in a little baggie of toys for two bucks so and i already sold another one of those toys that i found in that bag so really nice profit on that two little dollar bag next up you got this Nas national geographic's kids really wild animals collection and it sold for 38 dollars plus shipping and i think i paid a total of like five bucks for this at goodwill this is a free profit right here it's this vintage fantastico mlb baseball mini bubble crystal game you fill it up with water and then you just push this and you, obviously it'll you know you know how them work next is this funny cell it's this in hydro double terminated quartz crystal rock and the reason i know what this is is because i actually bought this on ebay but i didn't like it so i ended up reselling it back for more than what i paid for which is always super dope and what in hydro is it means that it has water inside of this so you can actually see it has a tiny little bubble that moves around in here um i'm gonna try to pop up a video and so you guys can see that but it's really dope there's some really other cool ones that have way bigger water bubbles and that's what i'm looking for this one was just way too tiny this one literally sold within 24 hours of me listing it people were sending me offers i had it listed at 9.99 took an offer at nine dollars and fifty cents people was re being real mad cheap with it but it is this vintage 70s 80s fun world cute thumb sucking red monkey doll that's what i put for the title yeah really nice profit i got this in a in a garage sale with uh tons of more stuff like i'm talking about hundreds of more stuff because i got shitload of toys next right here we got this vintage rainbow metals sandcast solid bronze hata bear totem belt buckle and yeah this bad boy sold for 38 bucks plus shipping i think i paid up for it like five six bucks at the thrift store but yeah really good profit on that and last but certainly not least we got this vintage looney tunes mania entire cast characters all over print tie that was my title i'll be saying my entire titles i bet it sounds funny when i do that but yeah so for 14 dollars 99 plus shipping and i got this for the free man I hope you guys enjoyed them sales. If you did, you already know what to do, man. Smash that like button. Drop a comment down below. My eBay is always linked in the description below as well as my social medias. So if you want to go hit me up, ask me some questions, you already know what to do. I appreciate everybody who be watching my videos. Go watch my Xavier Wolf Chris Travis um, concert vlog. That is mad heavily slept on. But hopefully by the time you're watching this, you'd see that I'm trying to upload more and more videos. Um, because that video I had for so long, but I finally got to it. And I'm really just trying to pop out these videos as much as I can. So I really appreciate you supporting and watching. I'm never going to give up on this shit. You guys see me succeeding. You can succeed too, man. It's been your boy Nano. <sighs>